Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll go through a bit of the ballistics and trajectory predictions for the High Altitude Balloon Project. Hey guys, welcome back. Really glad you could join me today. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. For those of you that have been following along for quite some time now, I've been building a high altitude balloon project, which was slated to launch April 18th to 21st, which is this coming weekend. This was for the, uh, well, it was in hopes of joining this uh, GSBC Global Space Balloon Challenge put on by uh, MIT. Uh, today I thought I'd show you um, some of the other projects, some of the other launches. This is a launch map for this uh, uh, global challenge and you can see how many people have joined this project for this coming weekend launch. Uh, unfortunately I'm going to show you why I will not be able to partake in the this event but that's not going to stop us from launching our balloon. Um, <laughs> if you're planning on flying next weekend, uh, well, hopefully your pilot uh, checks the pilot reports because there is going to be balloons launching from all over the place. This is us. Uh, they got us wrong on here. That is not where we're launching from. We're not up in the Muskeg of Northern Ontario. So uh, I thought I'd take you through a um, bit of the information. When we do go live, if you go to my website, makeme.org, mkme.org, on the live balloon tracking, you'll be able to follow. I don't know when this date is going to be, and I will show you why. So this page is the CUSF Landing Predictor. This is a, a tool that many of the people launching um, high altitude balloons are using and to date is probably the most accurate predictor of uh, uh, where your balloon will end up. And uh, they've done a lot of work pulling in a lot of uh, different weather information and um, lets us hopefully do a fairly accurate prediction. So what I, what I do and what we've been doing um, for the last month is we run predictions basically every day for the last month. This is where I'm at in Goderich, Ontario. This area right now is not suitable for high altitude balloon launches due to pretty high winds um, at every level of the atmosphere as well as our area here which is what we need for our landing area is uh, pretty much underwater for springtime. It is really wet. We just lost our snow in the last two days. The ground is, you'd be chest deep in the fields. It's just horrible. And uh, down this way, uh, most will be familiar with Toronto. This area is entirely off limits. We cannot go into Toronto Pearson airspace. It's just not an option. So uh, this kind of non-populated area of the map is our, our area of where we need to shoot for. So what I've got here, we'll use the burst calculator and we're going to put in our payload mass, which is 1800 grams is what we're shooting for with rigging. And we have a 600 gram balloon, which is a small balloon. This limits us. We're not going to hit the altitudes that some of the, the pros hit. We will be quite limited with this balloon. And I'll show you why. Uh, what we can do is a target burst altitude, or we can hit a target ascent rate. And we can manipulate the numbers both ways. You'll see I'll be sticking with the ascent rate target at 5 or higher meters per second. At that, if we use those values, it gives us a neck lift. This is a key value right here. This is what we need to set the balloon to on the ground for capability of lifting. So you're looking at uh, three and a half kilos for an 1800 gram balloon uh, payload weight. And uh, if we use those values and run the prediction, it's probably not going to change much from what I had it. And you'll see we end up in a not so good area. This is, we're looking 229 kilometers 
uh, range 189, flight time an hour and 56, but we can't go up there and get this. This is, uh, this is off limits, actually. Uh, shows us we would be in Georgian Bay. Uh, we can't go get that. It's just not an option. That's simply too far and would land in water and in some pretty dicey, unpopulated area. So that was a launch date of the 15th. So if we move this up a little bit, let's see what the 16th looks like. And I, I think you'll see why our, our plans for this week have been pretty much thwarted. This is probably the best option we would have. This is recoverable. This isn't too, too far away. This could be done. This would give us a, a 24,000 meter burst altitude. And uh, that puts us somewhere in the neighborhood of 79,000 feet. That's not too bad. That's about the best we're let's, gonna get. Let's go with a little higher ascent rate and see what difference that makes. See, that brought us a little bit closer but also knock down our burst altitude to 21,000 feet, which is not optimal, but we could get some pretty good pictures. So you get the idea how we can manipulate the numbers um, by manipulating the ascent rate and see how the neck lift went up to uh, five kilos to do that ascent rate with the same payload, same balloon. That's the, the strength of, of this predictor. It's pretty impressive. So that would be a doable launch, but let's move ahead to the 19th and let's, we want to get some height using that low, we, we need to get some height. We want to get around the 80,000 feet. So it's funny, just since I have started this video, unless I've massively miscalculated something. Uh, this has changed a lot, the weather forecast for, uh, for the 19th. We're now showing that that is a doable launch on the 19th. Well, interesting. We'll see what the rest of the week brings. Um, let's bump that up to the 20th and see how the remainder of the weekend looks. And if the remainder of the weekend looks good, geez, we might almost want to try yeah not an option uh that's that's down into some pretty heavily populated areas and uh, we've got to do some fudge fudge factor for drift here so odds are that's going to end up in lake erie to be totally honest it's coming out of the north strong the winds so that's that's a bad sign yeah and the 21st out of not an option we we can't do that uh, way too populated down there. We'll never get the thing back. It'll end up through somebody's windshield for sure. We'll try the 22nd, just for giggles. That's a little bit more doable. Uh, that's outside the city range. I would consider that a possibility, but uh, not optimal by any stretch. So what we're probably going to end up doing, we'll see what c comes closer to the weekend. Uh, odds are we're going to have to delay um, for more optimal weather. Like I mentioned, these fields are flooded. Everything's underwater. We'll have a heck of a time getting this thing back. Uh, probably going to err on the safe side, guys, and push this back until everything dries out and we get steady, calmer winds. I don't. I just. I don't think we can rush this. It's it's our first launch, and we want to get this thing back, and we want to do it right. Uh, last thing I'll show you is uh, you can download in CSV or KML. So you can download the Google Earth uh, plot, which will give you three dimensions on this from launch to the nifty little burst icon to landing. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We can manipulate the time of day further. And I didn't notice, but... We had the launch altitude off by a little bit, but it doesn't change much. We're about 200 meters here. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's uh, that's one of the tools. I have three others that I use. Um, I'm putting most stock in this one, and um, the other ones I can uh, I can do uh, the descent rate calculations, which is pretty important to this. If we change this descent rate calculation. Uh, we've pretty much settled on we should be about 5 meters, but if we up it to 6, we can notice we took off about 40-50 kilometers off of uh, 
between the burst and the landing point so all this stuff is uh, a lot of calcs a lot of work uh, we've been doing this like I say for a month now and uh, I'm a little surprised that launch day now actually looks half decent considering that just changed so much but it'll change again by the weekend I'll maybe close off by showing you one last thing here so this is a website I found that's one of the best visualizations of uh, meteorological conditions on the earth this is the surface winds showing right now over this area you can see it's swooping down out of the uh, northwest there if we move that altitude up a little bit you can see how the program uh, the landing predictor is using each level of wind so let's bump that up quite a bit and this sort of explains how you see these little changes in direction on the predictor because of the different levels of atmospheric wind and you see this one is extremely strong and that's why most of our predictions for today and tomorrow ended up way up in the Georgian Bay area up here because of this extremely strong wind here if we move that up even higher yet you can see it's even worse really really strong atmospheric winds some of the strongest on the continent right now are just blasting my area so this is why this time of year is not so good for balloon launching and it gets even worse this is uh this is current 154 kilometers an hour 169 kilometers an hour and if we move up to really insanely high altitude we should see things calm off and head the exact opposite direction almost and that this is the things I've been doing to sanity check the landing predictor obviously it's probably accurate everyone has placed a lot of faith in it but I like to be sure of things so uh, I like to understand how things work too so uh, I'll put a link to this site because there's all kinds of great things you can do temperatures and pressures and all kinds of fantastic information this is your one-stop shop for atmospheric conditions and if I remember right I think you can run the prediction out uh, yeah you can even go forward and back in time which is pretty neat which is uh, essentially what this landing predictor is using is those wind speeds so anyway glad guys I'm really glad you could join me today sorry to say we probably won't be able to launch this weekend but NASA tends not to rush their launches I don't think we should either I think we should get this thing right and uh, recover this payload and get our pictures and video so hopefully uh, hopefully we'll be talking soon and uh, I'll have a launch for you I'll let you all know when that day's coming thanks guys